guys, I need to vent. The first descendant is out and it's a disaster. Nexon, what the hell were you thinking? Let's break this down in detail. First off, the gameplay design is a complete joke. Seriously, it's like they didn't even try. Repetitive and uninspired missions. Check, fetch quests and kill X number of enemies over and over again. Check, it's like playing the same damn mission on repeat. Where's the variety? Where's the excitement? This is supposed to be a next-gen looter shooter and they give us this bland crap. And don't even get me started on the battles. Endless waves of enemies that just spawn right in front of you. Running out of ammo because there are too many damn enemies to kill. How is this fun? It's frustrating as hell. The game looks great thanks to Unreal Engine 5, but good graphics can't save lazy game design. Now let's talk about performance issues. This game is riddled with technical problems. Stuttering, FPS drops, crashes, you name it. It's 2024 and we're dealing with issues that should have been fixed in beta. What kind of amateur hour is this? I've seen indie games with better optimization. Nexon, you're a major player in the gaming industry. There's no excuse for releasing a game in this state. It's like they didn't even bother to test it properly. But the icing on the shit cake, the monetization. Oh my god, the monetization. The in-game shop is shoved down your throat from the get-go. Want a new character? Be ready to shell out real money. And these characters aren't cheap. Nexon expects us to grind for hours or pay up. It's a blatant cash grab and it's insulting. I understand that free-to-play games need to make money, but this is ridiculous. When you feel forced to spend money just to enjoy the game, that's a problem. It's not just about cosmetics either. The game pushes you to buy items that directly affect gameplay. Pay to win much. Absolutely. And let's not forget the privacy concerns. Yeah, they couldn't even handle our data properly. There are already reports of dubious data practices. Are we supposed to just ignore that? Absolutely not. In this day and age, gamers are more aware than ever about data privacy. The fact that Nexon seems so careless with our information is just another slap in the face. Let's get into specifics. Players have reported that crafting a gun can take up to 4 hours unless you pay real money to speed up the process. This kind of crap has no place in a modern game. It's like they're trying to squeeze every last penny out of us. And the skins? Don't even get me started. Overpriced doesn't even begin to cover it. They're charging exorbitant amounts for digital clothes. Who do they think they are? And the community reaction? Mixed at best. On Steam, the game has a mixed rating with only about 42% positive reviews. And it's not just me or a few angry gamers. This is a widespread sentiment. The initial excitement turned into disappointment real quick. Players from different regions, including China and Korea, are particularly unhappy, citing performance issues and bad monetization practices. Nexon had the chance to give us something amazing and they dropped the ball. Big time. The first Descendant could have been a killer game, but instead it's a hot mess. I'm pissed and you should be too. We deserve better. We deserve games that are polished, fun and fair, not cash grabs filled with lazy design and technical issues. What do you guys think? Are you as angry as I am? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more brutally honest game reviews. I'm out.